But I did read that this morning. I think it was in um, Hal Habib's column or story in the Palm Beach Post where he mentioned that he was, they drafted Zach Thomas because they needed a special teams guy. Yep. That's wild, man. And then, <laughs> and he, you know, here he and, is uh, standing uh, with the rest of the Hall of Fame inductees. And love, because there's only three, there's only three, well, I saw last night, only three linebackers under five, under six feet to make it to the Hall of Fame. That's Nick Bonacani, Sam Mills, and, J, and, and Z, ZT. But only three Dolphin defenders ever make it to the Hall of Fame. So easily, those are the three best defenders in Dolphin history. That's it's, it's locked in. That's what it is. I have to say Zach was better than Nick Bonacani, loving to death, God rest his soul. So Zach's the second best defensive player ever to put on the Dolphin helmet in the history of the franchise. And, and he and, was drafted to be a special teams player. And look at Zach next to Jason Taylor when he was all bulked up. But I mean, you know, and even he was undersized for, uh, you know, what you see in the NFL. Very, yeah. uh, very funny for the, you know, it's, we heard it all week. It's the work that he put in because Zach was not gifted with an Adonis body. He's a, mm -hmm. He's a squat guy. Does he look like, I'm not a big wrestling fan. Does he look so lot of like Brock Lesnar? Is that kind of like a Brock Lesnar style? Yeah, that's a, that's a very but, fair comparison. I think, I think Brock Lesnar's a little bigger. He's bigger. Like right. Yeah. Muscle. yeah. I'm just saying like size, like low to the ground, compact, like, yeah, yeah. like, no, like a, Brock like Lesnar is six, six, neck. two eighty. Zach is right. five, nine, two ten. Mm. Zach, does, Zach looks like a vice principal. Right. But they're, they're like, Thick. Yeah, their, their yeah. body body type. The the ex wrestler that got a job back at his school when he graduated from college. Mm. We were talking about Brock Lesnar. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. <laughs> Damn, Mr. Thomas, Thomas is swole. Zach Thomas is the high school wrestling superstar that you know now roams the halls in Dickies and a uh, a tight <laughs> polo. <laughs> you. You never followed football. I introduce you to Zach Thomas, and I tell you, he's a six-time pro bowler, what, five-time all-pro, Hall of Fame linebacker, or he's the hall monitor at Jackson High right. School. Yep. There's a 50-50 chance of getting that right. I think people would say hall monitor. Yeah. Yeah. Majority of the people are going to say hall monitor on that yeah. one. <laughs> no but running in the halls. <laughs> yes. But the respect he had in South Florida, I think I told the story before, <laughs> where uh, rookie, uh, what's it? It wasn't my rookie night. It was a rookie night after that. But it was Ed Miles' rookie night and Austin Spiller. I don't know how I remember these guys' names. And we go to Prime 112. Zach comes up in a Jordan shirt and flip-flops because he's Zach Thomas. Like, he's not dressing up for anybody. Right. He, to, uh, what's he going to do? He's, he's what, out there to you know, impress you. He doesn't even want to be there. Let me finish the story. <laughs> Goes into Prime. We're kind of uncomfortable walking in Prime, walking in Prime. Miles, the owner, runs up and gives Zach a big hug. Zach's been down in South Florida, hell, 10 years by the time I get here. Hugs him. We eat, have a good time. That's the dinner that Junior say I bought two bottles of Louis the 13th. Oh, no, no, no. That was my room. This is the next year. Somebody else did something done. We, we spent about 20 grand again. Afterwards, we're like, hey, let's go to the club. I think it was Crowbar. Crowbar doesn't even exist anymore. We get out. We have two, we have two cars. You know, a couple guys are driving. We have a limo and uh, two or three guys drove. So we get out. They start giving us a hard time about having T-shirts on. We have jeans on. We have shoes on. They're like, oh, no T-shirts. And we're over here arguing with these people like, hey, man. We'll this buy is that Crowbar now? This is, what's that? This is that Crowbar this is or at crowbar. Prime 112? Okay. This is at Crowbar. So Prime 112, we were set. We get the Crowbar. We walk up. They're arguing with us. I was a guy. You know, I was an Ed Hardy guy. So I had Ed Hardy shirt on. We're arguing about no T-shirts. Got to be a college shirt, long sleeve shirt. We have standards. Zach comes three minutes later. In a Jordan T-shirt, shorts, and flip-flops, walks up to the front and says, hey, take it easy. Oh, hey, Mr. Thomas. <laughs> and all of us get to go in. I was like, this dude is amazing. <laughs> and that was when he stopped. Like, Zach stopped partying at that moment. He would, I would drag the first two years, Zach, I was down here with ZT. I drug him out of the house like twice a year. And everybody, it was like, it was literally like Prince walked in somewhere when Zach Thomas walked in anywhere in South Florida. Because he could have flexed more than he did, right? Like, he could have run this town more than he did. He just kind of yes. chose not to. He was just cool. Like, even being with him, like, hey, man, let's go to South Beach. Let's hit this part. Let's, let's go to, like, now it would be like, hey, Zach, let's go to live. He'd be like, no, let's go to the Hard Rock. 
You're like, ah, Hard Rock's cool. Let's go a little bigger. No, we'll go out to Weston. There's a nice Italian spot in Weston. Zach, I don't want to go have Italian with you in Weston. I want to go party. <laughs> like, I want to ball out and have a good time. You're Zach Thomas. Oh, no. Have you been to that new Bo Campers on Miramar? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, if there was a Hall of Fame of partying. That's what you'd be getting inducted into. There's no, you know, we should uh, we should start that the Hall of Fame of partying. First of all, it belongs on South Beach, mm -hmm. right? We get some space on South Beach, like like athlete, rock star, actor partying, and you have an induction, you know, every year of you know for it's an induction slash intervention, but you have it every year <laughs> four or five big partiers. I think it might be a big hit on South Beach. I, I would say two first ballots are myself, obviously. Mm -hmm. That was easy. And Vontae Davis. Vontae Davis. Man, when Tay mm. got drafted, he invigorated me. Because <laughs> I was a little old. I'm four or five years. This is a little preview now. of Crowder's induction speech for the partying <laughs> Hall of Fame. <laughs> I was... Thank you to Mr. Vontae Davis. I was running out of party gas. And once you got down here in 2010, you got me back on top. But yeah, me and Tay going in. If you can get it going, Hawk, I got two first ballots. I had no idea Vontae Davis uh, rivaled you. Tay, Tay could run. I could what? tell y'all some stories off air that are pretty funny, but Tay could run. Yeah, maybe off air because I believe he was arrested for DUI a couple months ago. So, so you always want to add yeah, information. But that, I mean, that's obviously that's part of the lineage that gets you into the Hall of Fame. I'm not condoning it, but I'm telling you, like that might be, you know, whereas that might be a knock against you for other Hall of Fames. For this one, you know, when when someone's making the argument and on, on the side the badge of, of honor, yeah. A, and by the way, he should have called Ticket Wizard or gone to TicketWizard.com. <laughs> I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> There's another guy. I won't say his name because the story's bad. I want to tell the story, rather his name. A guy I played with, he partied hard too. Missed practice one day. Just didn't show up. Just ghosted. Nobody could find him. So now they start worrying about him. Because now that it's doesn't like, happen. Nobody just no. misses practice. Yeah. You remember the, who, who missed practice and said he got kidnapped in the Everglades? And, I'm, oh. I'm uh, Chidi Ahanatu. Media Honitude got to, got got uh it, there's another guy like David Overstreet or something with the Dolphins. But yeah. Chidi Ahanatu went missing. He did. So they, they hit, it didn't hit the, the news cycle, but this guy goes missing. And I find this out later from some of Dolphin security guys who went looking like they literally like they started calling jails, they started calling morgues, they, and they sent a person to his house. They had to go to the front, the front desk, get a key and find a way and they end up working it out you know to get in his house because they're like hey we need information this is it was pretty much like an investigation of where my man is i, I almost said his name again <laughs> <laughs> they get the key to his house they go in his house he sleep in a dry bathtub naked <laughs> if that story doesn't get you in the party <laughs> hall of fame All right I don't know what happened. No, slept so, through practice. Because that so, I, I would imagine even you, you've told us stories famously at, at Gainesville. You could run all night, mm -hmm. but you'd be there at practice. Yes. I've had people drop me off at the stadium and ran the stadium with my club clothes on. <laughs> and Rob Glass, the strength coach, was like, Crowder, come on, man. I said, Coach, I'm here. And I literally have on – Zeke Averichis. I'd have – no, no. You, I was a jort guy. So I have on jorts jorts and a white t-shirt and air force ones and i would second. beat everybody at practice up the stadiums on <laughs> what friday what club were you going to in jorts and a white t-shirt <laughs> i'll tell you now we reference right back to this segment i was zach thomas in gainesville mm. that, hawk i left half the time i left the club i had no shirt on right they didn't care what i wore in they knew what i was wearing out right jorts a belt and shoes maybe shoes if something didn't happen to them right yeah, you were Richie Incognito. I would, shirt was I would, coming off. Can I be Zach Thomas? <laughs> I don't think Zach Thomas would take the shirt off in the club. Back in the day, he did. 